The next problem with the 2019 Amendment Act is that there have been no changes made in the provisions with regards to testing infrastructure and standards of motor vehicles. With the changing needs of the society and with the rising pollution, the liability with respect to the manufacturers, the owners of the vehicle, as well as the person causing the accident, there need to be certain changes made in this aspect. However, the Act has failed to do so. It could have added more in the area of safety, environmental health, liability, warranty, performance of the vehicle and such other regulations had to be incorporated in the Act. Furthermore, Various funds are created, but no fund is made to improve the quality of the roads. So the victims of the motor accident are taken care of, but the root cause of these accidents have not been taken care of. So the accidents are also caused by people, but major accidents are also caused at night due to bad quality roads. So there can be a pothole wherein a motorcyclist has died because of it. There are no lights on the road. There's no proper infrastructure to prevent road accidents. So what is the liability in such cases? The government should have incorporated provisions wherein the road safety and the road construction and maintenance was given prominence under the Motor Vehicles Act. However, the government has also failed to do so. By just making funds, the government is trying to allocate money into various fronts that have, they have gotten from the public. However, they have failed to maintain the quality of the road, which has to be a major concern. The next problem with the act is that an increase in fine is only a blow to the commoners. A 500 rupee fine is nothing to a VIP or a rich person. However, have we ever seen a VIP pay fine? The answer is no. So who have been affected by such hefty fines? The police officials are afraid of catching hold of these VIPs. Furthermore, these VIPs, even after being caught, have never been seen paying the penalties in general. The auto vehicle, the straight transportation vehicles, as well as auto rickshaws are never seen paying fines. It is only the general public like you and me who pay fines. Furthermore, a majority of the population of our country is below the poverty line. With such hefty fines, they are already vigilant about not breaking the traffic loans. However, if they unfortunately do so, a heavy fine of 500 or 1000 rupees is not even the daily wage. A person might have to staff for a week in accordance to pay these hefty fines. So just by increasing the fines, it is not prominent that the road safety will be acquired. We are rather punishing the poor for some traffic violations, whereas the rich are just let go. The traffic violation fine should be such that it affects the general public as well as the rich and poor, everyone equally. The next issue and one of the most important issues with respect to the 2019 Amendment Act is that it focuses only on penalty and not on prevention. More focus should have been paid on prevention of traffic violations. By just imposing heavy fines, it is not preventing any sort of traffic violation. Prevention is always better than cure. So how could we prevent traffic violations? The first could be creating such awareness among children at an early age. So what children learn at an early age is generally followed by them throughout their life. And they just not only teach themselves, but they also teach their parents about traffic laws in India. The second being that the truck drivers and the rickshaw drivers are generally illiterate and they are not aware of the traffic rights, duties, as well as the rules and regulations that have been existence in India. Ignorance of law cannot be pleaded. However, we need to take into consideration the situation of the illiterate as well. So proper training and proper courses should be kept for these truck drivers and rickshaw drivers where they can be taught about the various traffic rules and regulations. Furthermore, training should be provided to drivers to acquaint them with the traffic laws in India. There should be programs and policies by the government wherein the general public, the children, as well as everybody around them has been made aware of the new traffic rules and regulations. People do not generally keep up with the latest amendments. Only when an amendment has been highlighted over and over and again with by the media, it has been made aware to the general public. We have seen NGOs do the needful act. However, the government has paid no heed in this area and aspect. The government should make advertisements or they can just put on certain skits and programs so that the general public can come to know about the latest amendments and the most important rules and regulations of traffic violations in India. The next problem is 
that there is no provision to keep a check on the police officers. We have seen earlier that there is a provision wherein when a public officer or a police officer, a traffic police officer violates any traffic law, he's penalized twice in the general public. But however, have you ever seen a police officer pay such fines? The answer is no. Furthermore, there are certain duties that have been incorporated upon these traffic police officers. Their duty is not just to catch traffic violators and penalize them. Their duty is also to regulate traffic and guide the public while they are driving. But during traffic jams, these policemen are nowhere to be seen at. These are lazy and lethargic police officials which generally run away during times of traffic jams. The general public has helped one another in this aspect, but the police officials are nowhere to be found. The Act should have taken this into consideration and could have prescribed training and further strict regulations with respect to the duties and the fulfillment of the duties of these traffic police officers. But the Act fails to do so that as well. So these were the general issues of the 2019 Amendment Act.